back Toy Hunters to another episode. Steve and Kelly here. Today we are going to go over a box that Kelly won from an online auction. But before we get started, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below. So the box is pretty big, so we're gonna just kinda set it on the table so you can see the gravity of the situation of what we've got. And then we're gonna open it up and then just start putting stuff on the table for you to see. But this is a pretty good sized box. And I know that this box is gonna be full of, like what Steve said, dinosaurs. I think there's some Ninja Turtles in there and we're expecting some Jurassic Park. So we're gonna see what's inside with you. So we'll be right back and get started. A few moments later. All right guys, so let's open this up and see what we have. Right. So, first item. First item is this pretty freaking awesome Jurassic Park pterodactyl that Honestly, I saw it in the photo in the auction, but it's so hard to tell the size of things when you're looking at auctions online. And this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna it be. Pretty big. It's pretty decent sized. It looks like, yep, the button works. So you hit this button and then it's gonna fly. And this guy is from 1997. So this guy's pretty awesome. I'm really excited to have him. He's gonna be the first Jurassic Park piece in my collection. If anybody knows what the symbol means on the bottom of his tummy, let us know. And this is made by Tyco. I believe this is a dino rider. It's kind of cool. You move his tail. It kind of swivels. You can see what it kind of looks like. Battle armor, battle damage. The JW down here on his leg. So it looks like it's a Jurassic World one. Maybe battle damage one. It's got a little wound right here. Stegosaurus? Just a Stegosaurus? I think so. I was hoping this is also another Dino Rider pterodactyl. I actually have one similar to this from my childhood that's in my collection. And this is pretty cool. This looks like it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Still got the saddle too. Has a saddle. Has little markings right here. That's awesome. Yeah. Don't have that, so probably keeping that in my collection. So I found markings on this one, Steve. It says 1987 Play School Inc. So this will be a Play School dinosaur. I don't know what series this would have been from, um, but neither you or I collect that line. So we'll be popping this guy up in the shop for sale if anybody likes these dinosaurs from Play School. Looks like we have a couple turtle play sets, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to open that one up. Yeah. So as you can see behind me, I have the Raph one, but I don't have any of the turtle characters. So this Leonardo one will be cool to, to add to my collection. I think there might be characters with these. Oh, Steve, you are gonna be so excited. Like if we open up these cells, there's actually the little mini figures inside. And I feel like a lot of times you find these just like with Polly Pockets or Mighty Max, where you find the play set, but there's no figures. And we actually have two figures in here. Who do we have in there, Steve? Looks like we have Raph and Donnie. So that's pretty cool. But it looks like most of the pieces are in there. I don't know if these two were original to this play set. We'll have to do some research and see. So in this Leo head, well, that's pretty cool. Looks like we have Bebop. It's kind of tiny, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it on the camera. Right All right, don't go through this bag. Oh yeah. This is the bag I've been waiting for. I think I've been driving you crazy about this. First off, who doesn't love a koosh ball, especially when it's a Jurassic Park koosh ball? So this will in, and this looks like the T-Rex, right, Steve? Yeah, it looks like the T-Rex. So then we have this 1992 Aptosaurus, if I'm saying that correctly. These two, I think, are part of... Um, kind of like Dino Riders. Yeah, I think these might be Dino Riders, so you'll have to see. It looks like there's Tyco on the tummy. 1987 Tyco. So yeah, these are going to be part of uh, the Dino Rider series. So it does look like we have two of them here. So we'll uh, take a look at them, and I'll keep one of them, and we'll post one of them up for sale. It's kind of cool. It's got a little button on the back, so you press it, and his legs work. Kind of friends around. Oh, that's cool. Does the other one work? So this one's kind of sticky, so I'll have to play with it and see if I can clean it up. That. This guy has the same feel. I don't know if he's part of the line, but I know that there was one that had the, the fan like that in the toy line. Dynamiters? Yeah. It could be. So it's got a little button here on the tail and his mouth open, so that's cool. Again, if you guys know if it's part of Dino Riders or something else, comment down below. 
like we said earlier, this little kid will go up in the Etsy shop and possibly some of these like loose dinosaurs if anybody's looking for figures like that. And then we have this 1992 Jurassic Park T-Rex. It doesn't have any like articulation at all. It's just a solid figure, but this is still a really cool piece. And we're gonna jump into some more Jurassic Park. I'm gonna give you this Dilophosaurus. I think that's a Dilophosaurus just without his hood up. Yeah, it looks and like then it. we have another Dakin one with the hood out on the Dilophosaurus. So that's cool. This one is another Jurassic Park. And this one's from Kenner. It's a smaller figure, so I'm thinking it might have been one of the ones that came along with a character in the original toy line. When you bought the toy, you got um, a smaller dinosaur that went with it. And so here we have actually two of the same dinosaur. This one's got a little bit of a wonky situation going on with his neck. Bendable. They're bendable? Kind of. Oh, okay, never mind. 93. The next thing we have is the figures, which I'm super excited about because I've had Robert Muldoon in my possession at one point, but we sold him in our Etsy shop and I regretted it the day I did it. So I've got Robert Muldoon it's from the original Jurassic Park movie. I have Dr. Ellie Sattler here from the original movie. And then we've got Dr. Grant. And then finally we have Timmy. So I got these four characters, which will be the first action figures besides the dinosaurs that we have in this lot. And then I think there's a couple more things or maybe one more item, right? There's another small Jurassic Park Brontosaurus. So I think this is actually the size that came with like the figures or these little tiny guys. So we have one bag left in here guys, but I'm gonna pull this out. So it looks like we have a Bebop Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle play set as well. So we open it up here. I actually think the Bebop that was in the Leonardo one probably goes to this play set would be my guess. So there's that. Let's see what we got inside. For certain, we've got the Jeep. Now this poor thing's missing some pieces, but this is the original Jurassic Park Jeep, I believe. 1993 Universal Studios. Looks like it's been melted a little bit on the bottom, so maybe Sid owned this and was trying to reconstruct it. But this is a pretty cool piece to have, um, even though it's missing some parts. So I'm really excited about this. I have this guy, Steve, which I think is actually another Dino Rider because it's a Tyco from the 80s. The same uh, Brachiosaurus symbol on his tummy as the previous one we had got. Um, no date. He kind of has more of an animated look to him. Some good jungle animals here. Got an Imperial Sabretooth from 1989. But I wonder if this is part of one of those Imperial toy lines with, because they had the knights in the 90s. I wonder if they had like cavemen or something in the, yeah, it's in the 80s. This is also Imperial 1985. So we'll do some research on those. Those guys will go up in the shop. And then last but not least, we have another Imperial Dinosaur, and this is a Triceratops, I believe, 1985. So these Imperial guys will do some research on. They're all gonna go up for sale in the shop. A lot of these 80s rubber animals will also be up for sale in our shop. Um, as far as the Jurassic Park stuff, all of that stuff will be staying in my collection, so I apologize because I'm really excited to add these pieces into my collection. And then the Dino Riders, a few will go, all the Ninja Turtle stuff will stay with Steve because yeah, he doesn't have it yet. Stuff to add. So we were excited to show you guys this haul. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, go ahead and hit those before you head out. And also remember that next uh, Sunday we'll, we'll be doing another video. I think Kelly has something planned. And don't forget, happy, happy toy, toy hunting. hunting.